41. Predict which compound in each of the following pairs of compounds is more acidic and explain your reasoning for each. So then we have letter E. So in this case, we have to figure out whether H2S or HBr is more acidic. Now you might know this answer because you might have memorized your six strong acids and HBr is on that list, right? H2S unfortunately didn't make the cut. So by just knowing that HBr is one of our six strong acids, we already know which one is more acidic, right? So we know that HBr is gonna win. That's one sure way to kind of quick answer the question. Um, we could also figure this out by doing the binary acid trend, right? Remember, binary acids is when you just have a hydrogen and then you have another element next door. So you're only allowed two, um, two elements and one has to be a hydrogen. And that's what's going on here. You have a hydrogen and a sulfur, two elements, hydrogen and a bromine, two elements, so we're talking about binary acids. Binary acid trend increases as you go across a period and down uh, the group, right? It also increases. So increase, increase. So you just gotta pinpoint where these elements are. Well, if I put sulfur, let's see, how am I gonna do this? Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move this over slightly. Let's just get rid of this. Just move this over a tad, just so that I have room on this side. There we go, that's much better. Okay, so if I just say that sulfur is here, right? On the periodic table, bromine is right across from it. So it's diagonal. So that means I gotta go over a, a, a period and go down a group to get to bromine. But increase as you go from left to right and increase as you drop down. So you're increasing both ways. So bromine would also be showing as the stronger acid here out of the bunch. So another reason why this is the correct answer. But now we just have to explain. I don't know if just, you know, explaining the trend is good enough. So the, the, the chemistry behind it links to atomic radius. Now, Technically speaking, as you go from left to right, you decrease in radius, but as you go from top to bottom, you increase. The increase in dropping is way overpowering than your decrease going from left to right. So if we do have sulfur and bromine is right across from it, right? If we say that sulfur is, actually, I'll just do it over here. We say that sulfur is this little dot right here, as you increase, the increase is way bigger than the decrease going from left to right. So technically, bromine would still be bigger. And it's bigger by like, I think, um, what would that be? Maybe 30%. I, I remember reading something as sulfur is roughly uh, 70 and bromine is like 100 if we wanted to put it into like perspective numbers. So bromine would still be larger. So coming over here, bromine would be a big circle and sulfur would be a smaller circle. So I'm just gonna say that this is HBr and this is H2S. Now to get the point across, I'm only gonna draw one hydrogen for each because you, you only need to draw one hydrogen. Even though H2S has two hydrogens, we still can answer or understand what's going on with just one hydrogen. So I'm gonna put one hydrogen and one hydrogen, and hydrogens are very small. Now look at the bonds, because remember these are covalent bonds. Look at the bonds between H and S, and then H and Br. The, the bonds between H and S, hydrogen and sulfur, they're very close, right? They're smaller, so they're close bonds. Since these bonds are more farther apart, these are distant bonds or, you know, longer bonds. It doesn't really matter. But the idea is that, remember, a hydrogen always wants to donate that hydrogen. The hydrogen essentially wants to leave. And the, the easier this hydrogen leaves, the better the acid. So in terms of H2S, who has close bonds, right, and this hydrogen just tries to get up and leave, the sulfur is not going to like that, right? Think of somebody you know that you're very close to in life. 
if that person one day decides to get up and leave, how would you feel? Me, personally, I'd be devastated. I would not be having it. But if you have distant, if you have a distant relationship, and maybe that, you know, the hydrogen decides to leave, it wants to be donated, the atom remaining is going to be able to recover. They're going to be like, eh, whatever. I wasn't close with them anyway. So that's the idea behind this, is because bromine um, has a larger radius. That's the chemistry behind it. The bonds in larger radii, they're not as strong as bonds that are closer. They don't have a, a, you know, a close relationship. So those elements at the, at the far end, like this in case for the hydrogen, can just get up and leave, and that's fine. And there you go. I hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all in later lessons. Let's keep studying hard. I believe in you guys. All right? Okay, goodbye.